Hi 330 class, welcome to week four of Music Embryo Online. I really enjoyed seeing many of you on Zoom lessons last week, and I look forward to seeing you again on Zoom lessons next week. But this week, we are doing uh, some YouTube videos again. And today, I am making you a video uh, to work on the specific technical challenges in The Farmer in the Dell and The Crawdad Song. So in The Farmer in the Dell, we are going to focus on the hooked bowing. And in Crawdad Song, we're going to focus on the slides. So we'll start with Farmer in the Dell. And just so that we all remember how this song goes, or I know some of us are learning it brand new for the first time right now, let's start by plucking and singing it. So it starts one on the D and then it goes immediately to the A. We'll do this call and response. I will go first and then you can repeat. So one A, 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 your turn. One A, 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 my turn on the A string. One, two, 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 your turn. One, two, 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 my turn. E, E, one, E, two, A, your turn. E, E, one, E, two, A, my turn. One, two, two, one, one, A, your turn. One, two, two, one, one, A. Great job. All right, let's do it all together, okay? So now not call and response. I'll just say ready, go, and then we'll all do it together. Ready, go. One, A, 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 A. One, two, 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 two. E, E, one, E, two, A. One, two, two, one, one, A. Great. Okay, so the notes are not that hard. Uh, the trickiest thing I think about the farmer in the Dell is working on the hooked bowing. Now, before we talk about the hooked bowing, I actually would like to talk about the rhythm because we have like a doobah rhythm, right? So we have short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, 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 short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, right? Lots of longs and shorts, okay? Now, some of those longs and shorts are a ta and a t. And if they're a ta and a t, then we are going to turn that into a hooked bowing, okay? So the every time you have a ta and a t, you're going to make it a hooked bowing, except one time, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I want to play this for you, and I want you to see if you can figure out where the one time is, the exception to the hooked bowing rule. So we'll start with an up and then immediately a hook. Okay, so did anybody get it? It was in the hi ho the dario spot. Okay, so let's sing an airbow this. So you can put your stuff down. So it's gonna be I'll go first and then you. Up, down, down, up, up, down, your turn. Up, down, down, up, up, down, my turn. Up, down, down, up, up, down, your turn. Up, down, down, up, up, down. Now here's where we get the exception to the hooked bowing. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up. Okay, listen to that one again. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up. Okay, so hi, ho, the is where you do not hook. And then dare o the goes back to hooking. Okay, let's try that together. Ready? Go. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Go. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up. And then the end is hooks. Down, down, up, up, down. Now your turn. Down, down, up, up, down. Okay, let's try singing and everyone the whole thing together. Ready? Go. Up, down, down, up, up, down. Up, down, down, up, up, down. Here's where you don't do a hook. Up, down, up, down, down, up. 
up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Now I'm going to air bow, but I'm going to sing the words. Okay. So you can just watch if you want to just watch one time and then we'll try it together. The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. So here I'm an up bow. Hi ho the, that's where you don't hook. Dairy oh the farmer in the dell. So I'm also gonna sing it and airbow it to you where I sing down hook or up hook anytime I hook. So let me just show you that. Up, down, hook, up, hook, down. Up, down, hook, up, hook, down. Up, down, up, down, hook, up, hook, down, hook, up, hook, down. So anytime I sing down hook or up hook, that means you do a down and then when I say hook, you do another down or an up and when I say hook, you do another up. I'd strongly recommend that if you have your sheet music handy that you write this in, okay? Let's try that all together now singing with the down hook and the up hook, okay, ready? Go, up, down, hook, up, hook, down. Up, down, hook, up, hook, down. Up, down, up, down, hook, up, hook, down, hook, up, hook, down. Okay, if you need more practice with that, please feel free to rewind and watch this again. Otherwise, let's grab our violin and bow and let's try it on the violin. So go ahead and get a nice bow hold set up. Nice bent thumb. We'll start in rest position. Now, I'm going to play first and I'm gonna tell you the bowing and then I want you to play back with the correct bowing. Okay, so just listen. So I start up with one on the D. Up, down, and then hook the down. So another down, up, hook up, down. Here's what that sounds like all together. Up, down, hook, up, hook, down. You try it with me, ready? Go, up, down, hook, up, hook, down. Okay, then the next bit has the same bowing pattern. Listen, up, down, hook, up, hook, down. Go, up, down, hook, up, hook, down. Now the next part is different, okay? So the next part goes up, down, up, and then a down hook, E, and then two on the A, up hook, A, one. I'll be honest with you, that's the trickiest part of the whole song. So let's really practice that slowly. Start on the open E, which is an up bow, E. Now E, one, which is not a hook, it's down up. So E, one. Now E, down, and then two on A, which is also a down. E, two. And then A, one. So watch all that together. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up. Let's do that two more times. Ready? Go. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up. One more time. And. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up. And then the ending is just hooks. So down, hook, up, hook, down. With me. Down, hook, up, hook, down. Okay, go back to rest position. Take a bow. Roll your shoulders a little bit. <sighs> All right. If you need more practice, please, of course, rewind and do that again. Otherwise, I'm going to do the whole song through and I will take the repeat. The first time I'm going to say the bowings and the second time on the repeat, I will not say the bowings. All right. I invite you to join me if you are ready. Otherwise, you can just watch an air bow and sing along. That's another good, good way to practice. Okay. So if you're ready to play, 
Make sure you have a nice bow hold. Step out to part one, part two. Okay. Remember, it's a short up bow, so you still want to start below the middle, even though you start with up. Okay. Ready? Play. Up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, repeat. position. Great job. Take a bow. So for those of you who are just learning this piece, hook bowing can be a little tricky. Uh, and if you get frustrated, I would encourage you, first of all, to just take a little break. Put your stuff down, breathe, stretch, maybe get a drink of water, um, and then come back and try it again. Remember that your brain must know it first before your bow arm can, can learn it. Okay. But knowing it in your brain does not mean your bow arm knows it. So it's a two-step process. First, you have to learn it in your brain, and then you have to teach it to your arm, okay? I strongly recommend doing a lot of air bowing and singing. That's gonna really, really help. You could also try singing the bowing while plucking. Uh, you can also try you know, air bowing and singing along with me on this video. Um, if you're having trouble with this, let me know in your lesson next week, and we can definitely work on it some more. Um, but honestly, just doing this kind of practice very calmly and several times uh, is really the best way to learn this. So good luck. All right, changing gears now, we're going to talk a little bit about the Crawdad song. And what I want to talk about in the Crawdad song is the slides. So this is a fiddle tune and one stylistic device that is very common in a lot of fiddle tunes is to slide our fingers. Now this is something that we do not do in classical music usually. Uh, and so I do want to just caution you um, that I really only want you to use slides when I specifically tell you to, and that's pretty much only going to be in fiddle tunes. Um, but Crawdad Song is one of those times. So I hope you enjoy. So first let's talk about sliding the fingers in general. Um, slides usually, not always, but most of the time, go up. So if I ask you to slide your two, for example, um, that would be starting with your finger, your second finger on a low two position, and then playing with the bow. And as you play with the bow, you'd slide your finger up into a high two position. So I'm going to try and show you this. See that? So I start on low two, and then I slide up to high two. I can also do this with first position. Right, start on low one and slide up to high one. So in Crawdad Song, there are several places where we can add slides, okay? So I'm going to play through it and point out the places where we can slide, and then we'll break it down a little bit and add those slides together. So Crawdad Song starts three on the A. And here's where you can add your first slide. So let's try that together. So it's three, 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 one, three, one, A. And then you put your one down low and slide one up to the tape. Three, ready, go. Okay, stop. Put your one down low. And as you play, slide it up to the tape. Let's try that one more time. Ready, go. Okay, great. You can keep practicing that or moving on to the second part. Second part doesn't have a slide. The third part does. Uh, actually, you can start the third part with a slide into that first note. So let's try that. Low one to high one. Again, and you can also do that on the fourth part, slow, slur, <laughs> slide, low one into high one. 
And in the fifth part, I think. So all of the slides in Cry Dad Song are ones, okay? So I'm going to play the whole song now with the slides and you can hear. I suppose you could actually start the second part with a slide too. you have fun adding those first finger slides into the crawdad song don't go too nuts uh and remember where there's that one weird rhythm the one that starts up bow that one's different than the other rhythms so make sure you take a look at that it's um t t t ticka instead of t ticka t ticka all right great job today everybody let's take our nice bow thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great week bye for now